Are we together? People will not understand you because there are things you will not tolerate. Their friends will not tolerate. Because Moshera na Mukudwe Kagatia. You less kiki kuyu in a manish aje. Your company or good com uh, bad company corrupts, but uh, good morals. Praise the name of the Lord. So my point is this purity is not easy to maintain, especially ukiwa kijan. Especially in our generation. Because uh, he, things are so easy. Sahi nikitaka nikitaka dem ni ku text to hapa. Oya. Cheki mrembo, suka mkwangu jioni, na ukama gizani, hakuna msia na kucheki. Hello? Nani atajua kuna mtu ni metext? And whatever will conspire after that, nobody will know. But let me tell you, the Bible says, from where can I go that your eye cannot see me? You may lie to us, but you are not lying to God. Hello? And let me tell you, that time when you get married and you have your wife or your husband, and you are alone in the house, when trials and challenges come, you will not rush to Pastor, Pastor, Pastor John. You will call on God. So ask yourself, if I did not begin with God, nitaenda kuambia mungu aje? There are people, sahi hata mtu wakimuita, akita God kwa marriage, aizi haka kuja ujua na shindua, kwani ulioa? Siku wana mali tuikuwa na commitment na we, kwani ulioa? Praise the name of the Lord. But it is very important to maintain purity so that you can walk with God in your marriage. Praise the name of the Lord. Stagi kuongea sana. Najua ni kona dekatano zimebaki. Let me, let me put this point this way. A good marriage, which, which, which you have paid the price of maintaining purity, is like a reward. There is a difference between a gift and a reward. Gift ni ile kituneza kama sayi ni seme, ah, nataku kubariki na isimu. That's a gift I've given you. But a reward is something you work for. It is something una, una, ni kama wale wana, wana, wanafanya uh, marathons, wanapewa nini? Reward, wanapewa kitu, ni kama trophy. Are we together? So a good marriage is like a, a trophy. Leo hii, uh, wale ambao tuko hapa kina Pastor John na hale wengine, wenye tulianzisha marriage zetu kwa, uh, kwa Mother Bow after pursuing purity, leo hii, we don't call our wives wives. We call them rewards. Because that girl, you look at that girl and you say Jesus. Kama ningeoa fulani, woi, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. You look at that girl and you say, thank you, Jesus. This is a reward. Uyu hata si mstia, this is a, a reward. Because uyu ni mtu yule uluku unataka maishani. But there is somebody you can get married to. Ah, ah, Jesus. You get a knife for a wife. Or you get a prayer point for a prayer partner. Praise the name of the Lord. Sumesikia bishop akisema ati kuna mtu wapa tunasema, kuna mtu wanaomba buwana, na kuna mwingine anaomba mungu, asaidi ubuwana maana wanaona hindi o sheta, hindi o shetani. It, it, it's like that in marriage. So I insist on you on this. Ili ni malize muniulize maswali. I urge you, maintain sexual purity. Maintain emotional purity. Maintain purity at your youth. Na uta enjoy kwa marriage yako. But, nimekuambe si raisi, it requires sacrifice. Lazima uji sacrifice some things. Lazima uji... Kama uwezi ukajinyima, don't expect at you useme at you walking in righteousness. Righteousness, in other words, is like, is like sacrifice. You have to sacrifice in order to, to maintain a, a pure life ya ujana. Amen? Mpaka hapo, swali. Uliza, naono kona swali. Kona swali? Oh, mtu wakona swali kusu purity. Yes, my brother. Mm -hmm. Simama. Imambo. Imambo unajua. Okay, swali yangu ni hivi. Okay, in case upate mtoto na msichana, sindio? Uliko unataka kumuoa na akakuacha na already misha za mtoto. Okay, in case upate mtoto na, bi, na msichana, alafu yu msichana kuache na ubaki na mtoto hiyo ikoje ya hapo hivyo. Upate mtoto na msichana, mwenye uliko unatarajia mtawana, sindio? Alafu ifike mali after kuzaa hivi, ya aende na kuache na mtoto yani. Aende ya kuache na mtoto? Yes. Okay. Sawa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let, let me let, wacha nisijibu hapa. Penye umeulizia nijibu hapa nyuma, Pastor Ben atahandle hiyo ya, ya mambo na mtoto. Because 
in Christianity ama holiness wacha niseme holiness holiness tunafanyanga harusi ya kijana na msta na msana kwa hivyo unless ukue mmepatana maybe mama alipata mtoto before mpatane alafu mkakuwa kwa courtship akiwa single mom hiyo ni sawa kwa sababu alipata kabla hamjapata hamjapatana but kama ni for example wewe umechumbia huyu mtoto anatoka wapi kama mna maintain nini purity ehe ehe yeah tumekuwa na yeye kwa relationship alafu after kujifungua hivi tuseme kwa mfano ni kama hakuwa anakupenda yani ni mapenzi ya uongo ni kama alafu ya aende na kuache na mtoto sasa swali yako iko hapa utafanyia nini na mtoto ama aje hapo sasa aya na mimi kama umekosa sasa hiyo swali pastor Ben ndiye atajibu acha nirudi nyuma so. i'm talking about purity yes. are we together purity ni kumaanisha kwamba hamfai ku have sex in a relationship kamla mjaenda kamla amjafunga ndoa kwa kwa madhabahu are we together yes tumeelewana hapo kwa hivyo hiyo swali pasi umeelewa utajibu hiyo ya mtoto but i'm talking about purity ni kukana utakatifu if you are dating this girl ni maintain purity hakuna kufanya kitendo cha ndoa are we together yes. mpaka hiyo wakati mtapewa uh, ruhusa pale muende sasa hapo ndio mta, mta mnaweza mkafanya hiyo mambo mengine are we together yes, lakini yes. In, in holiness of Christ yeah. we don't we don't advise or we don't allow sex before marriage mbona mnaniangalia hivyo hivyo ndo iko hivyo ndo iko kwani 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 ati nimechoma wala la basi wala la la Okay mtume uliza so okay pasi atakujibu hiyo ya utafanya nini na huyo mtoto lakini mimi naongea kuhusu purity okay. ndio tusitoke out of topics ndio sawa haya thank you eh njo, njo ushike kameme ajeni mimi naomba kuuliza what if unaona kama vile tumesema tumesema sahi maybe uh, ufai am fai ku kufanya sex. Hapo sisi wote ni watu wazima, sema ku have sex. Ni wadi nilikuwa nataka kutumia word mbaya, si mzuri. Ehe. As in kama si wewe ukiwa kijana, ukue maybe au fai ku sasa ku have sex before marriage, sio? Alafu maybe kuna mse before sasa hii seminar ifanyike ajue maybe asha asha soma katiba yao, katiba yao. Asha kaua katiba. Uyo mtu eh. anaweza maybe anaweza fanya bado wedding ama anaweza anaweza wana tena ama atoa tu huyo mtu mwasha asha asha okay. swali yako ni swali yako ni ukisha mess na huyo msichana ukisha mess na huyo msichana eh ukisha mess eh. na sasa umekuja ukarealize hiyo kitu ipo inafaa eh. inafaa kudu thank na you maybe huko umepanga huyo demo eh. au tamari kitu kaya hiyo eh. goja tumesema <laughs> 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 Ati maybe huko umepanga huko demo utamari yeah. why, why waste somebody's time ah, unajua kuna kitu uh-huh. pasi pasi kuna okay kitu. sawa kuna sawa eh uh-huh. kuna kitu inaitangwa majaribu eh uh-huh. maybe sasa uh-huh. thank you ah tulia tulia eh simkua pole na nini naulizia eh unajua mimi zote tabia nasema as in maybe maybe kalikuja tu kakaji kakaji pa eh and then mse aka akacheza kae na maybe yako aku noti aku jua mm-hmm. si kuna venye maybe umeona manzi and then mm-hmm. umemwangukia mm-hmm. maybe umeanguka na yeye and then yeye akueni wale hizi thank then, you unaweza fanyaje kutoka Th- hapo hivyo thank you thank you thank you okay the, nice question muhei karoheni napenda watu wanauliza real questions let me say this if you are in a relationship mark this if you are in a relationship and you are serious in salvation you want to do marriage kwa madhabahu and the first thing that person ministers to is your organs you are in the wrong place assume assume i'm dating this lady and the only time we meet nasikia tu viungo zingine za mwili zinasema rabashaka na maganda you are in the wrong place because the right person for you ministers more than your body to your soul because you are soulmates ni watu ambao you are connected together for a divine purpose are we together before hata minister kwa mwili you see that person and you see a future with that person 
before hata usikia hata usikia mwili imeanza ku react hiyo inakujanga after are we together najua sasa hapo umechanganyikiwa because some of us juzi nilikuwa nasikia mwingine akisema ami ataka manzi mali safi akipita hivi wasio na inamisha eh yeah? let me tell you Look sio zina sizo zinajenga marriage. Sisemi usitafute mtu mwenye unataka kuwe venye yako. Sisemi usitafute hivyo. But I'm saying this. Narudi kwa swali yako Boni. Nikuwa nataka ku on that because many people get in relationships for the wrong reasons. Unaona huu day unasema eh academy ni karembo. Manzee nitakakatia. Utaki kitu kingine ni kumkatia tu ingie box. Alafu mfanye hiyo maneno after that story ishe. Ukadamp. Umemwestia time. So Boni wacha nirudi kwa swali yako. Nikianzia nilisema hivi, I'm not speaking for everybody, but I'm speaking for that person mwenye ameamua akasema mimi nataka marriage successful. You see, when you want a serious something, kama unataka kufanya kitu kitu yenye it, it make sense ama kitu serious in life, lazima ukue mtu ambaye ni wa ku make sacrifice. Now, ili isifike hapo Boni unataka, hapo pa kukagua katiba. Are we together? Hapa kukagua katiba. Number one, number one. If you are serious dating, ask yourself, who msee? Maana kuna point body umesema, ati umesi na umsichana na uko uko umepanga kumuoa. Don't get into a relationship kama hauna goal. Relationships are expensive, let me tell you. Na mnajua, si mnajua? Si mme date? Kama usha i date fanya hivi? Acha kudanganya. <laughs> So relationships are very expensive. So my point is this, kama uko sure mimi nataka I'm dating this person na niko serious na yeye, make it stop seeing what you can do together. Start seeing what you can make together in the future first. Because uki let your mind rule you, ama feelings zako ziku rule, katamanyuria. Katamanyuria mapema, yani katauga mapema, kata kata hiva mapema. Are we together? So ili isifike hapo Bonnie alikuwa anasema to mess with that person. Number one, tumesema aje kuwa sure that huu ndiye mtu mwenye nataka ku spend the rest of my life with. Number two, si ushaji huo ni ule mtu mwenye unataka. Number two, avoid si kila mtu hapa anajijua. Si hapa kila mtu unajijua, we unajuanga mimi if nikiachwa tu hata siku hapo hapa tukisimama hapa nje nisalimie msani muhag mambo inaharibi. Mambo inaharibika. Avoid anything that will make, that will minister to your body. Avoid those places that you minister to your body. Are we together? Make it official. Make it kitu ambayo uko serious nayo. Maana unajua hapa hata sisi wote hata sisi wote tujazwe hapa na roho. Mwili ija zangu ina roho. Mwili haijui kuokoka ni nini. Sasa hii boni tukikufungia hapa hata si mbali sina huko nje. Tufungie hapa na msichana na tuende. Hatutawapata mkiwa sister and brother. Are we together? So <laughs> mbona ujidanganye? Mbona ujidanganye ati ati mimi nimeokoka kwa hivyo we can go for dates in a, in a private place or i can call you over to my house mwingine nisikia akiambiwa ati amepigiwa simu anaambiwa na mtu ati ati akuje kwa nyumba ati ni mgonjwa wewe ni daktari ati aki mimi usipokuja mimi nakufa si ukufe daktari wa mapenzi eh if you are serious with your life my friend make sacrifices alafu kuna kitu pasi aliniambia ameniambia hapo mpaka nikacheka ni venye ametoka uh, uh, carry your brains carry your brains in relationships because especially ladies na, sina sina ubaya na ladies especially ladies uh, you, you, some, some many ladies don't go with their brains in relationship they only go for that tall dark handsome side buds dimples has money kona six pack full stop then by the time una realize full nini eh, naitwa je six pack sizo sizo zinajenga maisha usha mess up carry your brains along there are things you look at unaona umse yuko serious songa ukiendanga my friend wanaume ni wengi sana basi swali ngine let me come here so that we can these people mhm nataka ku ba watu wa sokia hapa ijua kwa msaidika sana mhm Uh, niseme hivi not even in christianity purity kama vile pasi anasema ni kitu ya muhimu sana during those uh, siku za kitambo ulikuwa unaona them kuna vile walikuwa wanatreatiwa wana, wana na 
hakuna mtu alikuwa anakubali kuwa dem kama we unga unge kuwa virgin haukuwa fit for marriage Bwana asikio That was the certificate for marriage eh. Eh. na ukiangalia mimi nime interact sana na hawa si wanaitwa waislamu mimi kasoma wengi kwa business yenye nachapa mi u deal sana na hawa wa si waislamu because uh, they, they, they they love using uh, taxes they don't want to work wanapenda maisha 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 randan maisha randan so u, kama unge, unge un, kwa waislamu hadi wareo kama wewe si vajo kama wewe si vajo manzi itakuwa mbaya kwako hata tukianza relationship na na na, na, na mse alafu ile ile night ya, ya honeymoon kuna kitamba hata kitambo ilikuwa inawekwa kukikosekana damu kwa hiyo kwa hiyo nini hiyo bed sheet inamaanisha umeme umemes na huku kwa around hata kuwa kukua married hiyo marriage ilikuwa inaishia hapo praise the lord mm-hmm. so purity wakati pasi tuna address purity tuna address kitu ina, tunasema hivi kwa sababu sisi ni christian we should not date the worldly way mm-hmm. the worldly way ya wase wa dunia kuna vitu wanaita sleep over tumejua na leo tume textiana through facebook pasi alafu friday unakuja una spend kwangu na kutibu kama kuna kitu kaa kutibu na kukagua katiba na kagua katiba mm-hmm. kama hiyo katiba ijanifurahisha nasema enda ukienda songa praise the lord kwa christianity hakuna hizo try and error hakuna story za lazima kwanza nilale na wewe ati ndio nijue kama nitakuoa hapa vitu ni spiritual bana niombe Mungu usioe jamaa ametumia petroli yake amemaliza watu sasa wavuta hiyo gari na kwama kwa barabara praise the name of the lord mm-hmm. hii gari ni kiwariro mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> na ina hata kio ya nyuma <laughs> Hata ni mileage na mariza. Iko karibu kumaliza mai mileage. Na wewe hapa hivi ume, umekazana na ndio pasi ukiangalia hata Bible mm-hmm. kuna place inasema wakati Yesu alitaka uh, Mungu alitaka kuleta restoration kwa dunia mm-hmm. to bring back the foreign man back to him. Mm-hmm. He wanted to, to, to wakati kuliambiwa lazima azaliwe na, na mtu wa kawaida. Why do, why do, do, you, do you think uh, Yesu alizaliwa na mtu hata akwa na experience ya sex. Si tunaambia ngo Yesu alizaliwa na Mary. Mm-hmm. Na Mary akwa 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 israra na mtu yoyote, si ndio? Mm-hmm. Na kaza why did go, God go for va, va, a virgin girl? It was a sign of purity. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm-hmm. Our God is a holy God. Bwana apewe sifa. Mm-hmm. So kwa marriage <laughs> ya 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 ya, 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 ya wa Kristo si kama ya huko kwa dunia. You know the problem with church today na vijana wa church leo. We are running from the world. Instead the world we learn, learn from, from us. us. Mm-hmm. We are the right of the world. Not not the world is the right to the church. No. Bwana apewe sifa. Mm-hmm. And so many many people pasi kwa sababu ya social media mm-hmm. unakuta nataka kupendwa kama Beyonce eh, vile naona will Paul na Baha so popular even ndivyo unataka unataka ku, ku, relationship yako iende praise the lord mm-hmm. we are not supposed to date the world way na ndio pasi mimi nilikuwa na dem alikuwa ameniambia hivi mimi sita olewa ni best yangu hadi wa leo alikuwa ameniambia hivi mimi sita wai olewa na jamaa sijarara na yeye nikamuliza kwa nini akaniambia pasi sasa nikiolewa na mtu simjui si na nikikuta huyu mtu hakuna hata kitu <laughs> ama nikute huyu msee ni ndovu ni ndovu ni ndovu <laughs> praise god saya alikuwa ananiambiaje mbona nijicommit mbona ni sikia pasi wasa wanapitia story kabisa mbona nijicommit kwa mtu mwenye sita fit for the rest of my life. Wote them si alikuwa na make sense. Mhm. Tena make sense. Mm-hmm. Eh ananiambia pasi. Hebu imagine nimemari. Kwanza nilipea hii example. Na nilikuwa naambia hawa mabete zangu alafu nikurudishie pasi. Nilikuwa nataka isink e. kwa mind zao. We are not supposed to to date 
world in, in the way the world works mm. there is a different there is a different praise the lord nilikuwa mm-hmm. na example mimi nikiwa kore tulikuwa ile 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 kore nilikuwa ilikuwa inaitwa nyanchwa iko kwa kina freddy uko kwa kina freddy iko na high school na college at the same place pasi ile college mimi nilienda sijui kai hizo zingine zinakuwa nga hivyo wanaume mkienda kuoga hakuna kuficha ati 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 una ati unaoga sijui ati una, unafunga mrango mm-hmm. zile bathroom zote zikuwa na mirango ulikuwa unaingia alafu wewe una, unaoga besi yako anapita hapo anakusalimia eh hey, aje hey, manze na umebeba <laughs> 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 Praise the Lord. Mm. Akipitanga anakusalimia wewe unaendelea kuba kuba. So kuna incidents pasi nilikutana nayo ikanipea shock sana. Mi nili, nili, nilienda kwa bathroom kuingia kwa bathroom nikapata pasi na nataka utuambie vile mtu ana hizi uh, vitu tutazifanya hadi mm-hmm. to escape such things. Mm-hmm. Nikapata na na Jamali kwa high score alikuwa mtol. Jamali kwa sawa bejenga. But tu nikipita nikaona kuna kitu sioni. <laughs> Ah, mpaka nikarudi nyuma tena kaambia hey, niaje kuangalia manzi let me tell you the truth that guy was tall and everything lakini sex sex organ yake ilikuwa inatoshana it was smaller than this this part of my e ilikuwa nitaka dudu wa dwa guys easy oh god nawaambia mbele ya Mungu easy easy Sasa mimi nika 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 rizona yule demo alikuwa ameniambia sasa nikauliza na huyu jamaa kikati ya demo aingie box waende pale kwa <laughs> kwa altar alafu waende hanimu kataishia hapo tu <laughs> toke <toke> nimeisha <laughs> so pasi eh. ebu ni kuuliza tu swali general mm-hmm. je, je, general question mm-hmm. We unaweza ambia mtu aje mtu hapa hivi mtu ameokoka vizuri mm-hmm. na ako kwa hiyo question ya mm-hmm. Mr. Kikua mtu and then nikiende ni realize mm-hmm. au jamaa manze ya function vile ana fuck function umse ni bure kabisa tuko kwa generation yenye pasi venye umeongelea story ya purity mm-hmm. tuko kwa story ya generation yenye wase wananyonga mm-hmm. najua kunyonga nini yeah. unasikia pasi Unasikia? Ah, umesema eh. <laughs> Wanajua it's something that is happening everywhere, si ndio? Tuko kwa hiyo generation wase wanajisatisfy. Kunyonga ni kumasturbate. Amen. Unasikia? Na nilikuwa nawaambia pasi when we are talking about dating, unakuta church kwa sababu ya restriction. Mimi sai kuonekana na dem, sai kuharibu reputation. Mimi sai kuonekana na dem hari. Mimi sai kuonekana na chari. So uh, kwa avoid hiyo mambo yote na justi kuharibu image yangu usiku kuna vile nikikuja kwa ibada na angalia uh, staff hivi eh, kama mwingine alikuwa ameambia pastor John ati ana, pastor John akiinua mkono hivi aki worship ati anaangalia mkono wake afu anaangalia praise the name of the lord anaangalia pare anasema this is the light man this is Hallelujah. the light man amebeba vile mimi nataka comparison <laughs> So wase wako kwa church na wako na vitu zao. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Na kwa sababu huyo mtu hakuwa hakuweza kufikia Pastor John, mm-hmm. alikuwa ananyonga. Msijivanya hapa mjui Kenya nasema. <laughs> wa Kristo wengi vijana, mm-hmm. manze pasi na ndio maana nimefurahia tuonge kuhusu purity. Mm-hmm. Tuna kila wa generation. Kabisa. Ah wase hapa unaona hivi. Ukiwauliza hapa tukiwa honest, uulize mse nani ajai pitia hiyo story ya masturbation. Si wase wengi. I can tell you maybe 5% ndio wajui Kenya naongelea nikisema kunyonga so unakuta by the time mtu anaingia kwa marriage he is useless umetumia strength yako bible inasema usitumie vibaya strength ya ujana wako utahitaji so unakuta ume ume umezoea hizo habit na hata ukiingia kwa marriage marriage si kama ulikuwa fornicator uingie kwa marriage <laughs> una una graduate unakuwa adatara unasikia Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. So pasi unaweza tu advise aje. Unaweza advise hawa wase aje. Kutoka na, najua hujakaa kwa marriage sana. Mm-hmm. Na hata Pastor John atatuambia. Unaweza wa advise aje. Kwanza story ya kunyonga. F- first thing, eh. umesema point mzuri sana. Eh. Ati ukikuwa ukikuwa fornicator ukiwa kijana alafu we, it doesn't end. 
una graduate unakuwa daktara i would say this my friends niwaambie tu kweli yote tu kweli yote tu kama kuna place watu unyonga venye umesema hata si outside there ni kwa church do you know why mimi assume mimi sijaokoka niko huko nje i don't need anyone to tell me why i'm exchanging girls like t-shirts hello i'm okay nasema kama sijaokoka nikiwa huko nje so wamama wa 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 kufua hapo nje ndo wanajuanga wale wanaingianga so i i i have no i have no sina shida na hiyo but tukuje kwa church umse ni praise and worship acha okay sisemi unafanyanga hivyo lakini ninasema kama wewe sasa sema huu ni praise and worship kijana wa madhabahu hello kila mahali watu wanajua ni kijana ameoko so what is happening in our society ni hivyo pasi anasema umse maana hataki kuwa na wasichana ama hataki kuenda kupeleka wasichana kwake umse ana opt to kunyonga and let me tell you this if you don't overcome story ya kunyonga kabla hujaoa hata ukioa haitaisha thank you pastor continue haitaisha because sika wana mistake because, because masturbation and making love are two totally different things ni vitu mbili tofauti sana even your body i, I was listening to pastor tia kisema aki explain your point alikuwa anasema ya kwamba uh, those people who masturbate those people who masturbate they will tell you the truth that when you masturbate and mtu sasa akivuka hiyo offside nyingine i make love it is different even the body knows imedanganywa so now when you enter into masturbation kabla hujaoa your body adapts to your so you are using your either your hand or whatever you are using so your 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 body inazoea mikono yako kwa hivyo if you get married to a lady organ ya lady na mkono ni vitu mbili tofau, tofauti so you will not be satisfied and that's why unapata kuna wasi wameoa na after making love to their wife wanaenda bafu kujimalizia imagine ukiwa umeoa ama ukiwa umeoleka finding your spouse kwa bafu akijimalizia na mmetoka na yeye kwa so i am saying this this thing is dangerous and it eats you and eats you until it finishes you so if you are involved in it finish it as early as now wacha kusema wacha nioe ati sana nikiwa nitamaliza na masturbation haitaisha because it becomes an addiction haiwezi kaisha thank you pasi uh, yes yes boni yes yes eh 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 Okay before nipatie pastor Ben ajibu hiyo swali Thank you thank you Bonnie before before pastor Ben ajibu hiyo swali let me say this many of you will not will not understand me but I I assure you because I'm speaking from experience yangu Unaona vile uko saa hii na vile unafanyanga Hivyo ndivyo rofaru yako inafanyanga Unaona vile uko saa hii the way you have, you have kept yourself Kama we una, unatokanga nje ama unafanya hizo stuff even your spouse penye yako ndivyo wako Our God is so faithful 
that awezi ji maintain purity ukiwa sawa then akupemse amemaliza mile si umeshika hiyo point the bible says joseph alikuwa vajo si ndio mary alikuwa vajo but wakati joseph arealize nani yako na ball alimtoka si ni kweli it took the intervention of the angel to convince usikose kuchukua huyo mtu are we together because even even Mungu alikuwa anajua kama huyo dem amelala na mtu mwingine Joseph haezi akamuo haezi akamuo because yeye alikuwa piwa kwa hivyo Mungu haezi akaruhusu wewe umekaa ukiwa piwa na unatafuta Mungu ukiwa serious then akupatie kitu imbo God haezi kubali and that's why na ingei point ya marriage is not just about body it is so much spiritual than body you need to see God in a higher level ili akupatie the right person karibu basi ah thank you mnashika kitu hebu tupigie hapa sima tofi na hata pasa sasa wacha 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 hata pasa kama kwa dakika ya kusema ni akuje hapa hapa mbele ikankamia hii tunaweza ondolewa hii tunaweza tolewa hii because we want to talk praise the lord nataka ku address hiyo story mimi najua niko na voice kubwa Naomi bwana asifiwe. Amen. Eh Naomi ananisikia. Praise the Lord. Amen. Nataka kidogo kuongelea hiyo story ya Boni. Unakuta tuko chat lakini yule mtu unaenda kuomba advice anakuonyesha a uh, maybe badala ya kurara na msichana kuna consequences, si ndio? Ukirara na dem anaweza kuambia hizi ni advice mmezisikia mtu anakuambia ukirara na dem kuna risk ya akuwe pregnant kuna risk ya ukuwe HIV positive si ni kweli na hata kuna magonjwa inaitwa kaswende kama mama, kama mama, mama moja nilikutana na yeye buruguru mama anatembea hivi nikashindwa ni nini huyo anatembea hivi amen mm-hmm. praise the lord amen. nani mama mzee kuna hiyo magonjwa bado iko. Nilibeba siku moja wasichana watatu na walikuwa wanaongelelea msichana wao mmoja wanafanya ukahaba. Wao ni wanajiuza. Nilikuwa nasikia wanasema one of their friend amegonjeka syphilis. Syphilis ni okasuende. Mm-hmm. Magonjwa chungu. Amen. Ukienda kususu kama lipare kwa church tunasikia eh <laughs> sasa vile bodi amesema kuna watu wengine hawaogopi Mungu ukienda kuwaomba advice wanakuambia badala ya kurisk na msichana why can't you masturbate mhm masturbation hautapatia mtu ball masturbation hautapata kaswende lakini akuambii hata hiyo masturbation iko na effect Praise the Lord. Can I be honest with you? Can I give you one effect of masturbation? Can I give you one? Ah mati ajibwa. Can I give you one? If you are a man If you are a man na uko hapa katikati yetu. One of the effect of masturbation ni ya kwamba if you masturbate for a very long time. I had a friend of mine alikuwa ananiambia if you masturbate he was in that addiction. One thing you are you are ni nini watu wanatoka? Eh watoto kwanza waondolewe. <laughs> <laughs> was <he> stupid <laughs> praise the lord one thing ni ya kwamba you are sexual organ if you are a man you become so weak you become so weak to a point that body even when you go to marriage you will never satisfy your wife mm-hmm. when you wale wa say unaingia kwa machi ya 90 minutes ukicheza dakika tatu umehema wewe ni mtu bure kabisa 
So utakuta uki uki ukizoea hiyo hiyo tabia ya masturbation hata ukiingia kwa marriage marriage yako 50% kuna uwezekano haita survive maana at why do we marry one of the gifts of marriage is sex si ni ukweli si ni ukweli so kwa nini ukiingia kwa marriage alafu ukute yule mtu umeoa amen amen Amalizi mileage. Dange chemo eh. Ona no ero si juu de ke. Aru matakiroli. Is ki 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 ki. Una jua. Hizo ndio boni. Nilikuwa nataka kuanza hiyo swali niachie pastor na yeye aseme kitu. Hiyo ndio ukweli. Watu wase awaambii kuhusu kunyonga. Amen. Ukiwa mse kijana uzoe kunyonga another thing your sexual organ inaanzaga kupata curve deform Amen I'm preaching so well I love myself I'm doing a good job Ukisikia wasema wamenyamaza I'm doing a good job Unakuta if you are a man You are sexual organ inafaa kuwa hivyo. Unafaa kuwa wa, wa, wa chama cha kanu forever. Tikiza <laughs> kido? Kido. Lakini ukianza hizo story za kunyonga, mm-hmm. unaanza na kuwa wa chama cha ndizi. Mm-hmm. Nyoka nyoka. <laughs> ya wipe. <laughs> so iko na effect zake mm. tusidanganye generation yetu manze na kuambia effects of masturbation they are so bad so bad mm-hmm. so bad to a point that hata afadhali msemoje alikuwa na fornicate no mari manicate mm-hmm. na ni vizuri basi kama ulikuwa na addiction fulani ukiwa kwa dexi kwa kochi mm-hmm. ambia besi ambia huyo besi yako mwambie na mimi nilikuwa na hii habit sikuipenda lakini mimi niko hii praise the lord mm-hmm. so pasi nilikuwa najibu bodi ni mwambie mm-hmm. kuna wasee wamejitokeza kwa generation yetu mm-hmm. wanataka kuonyesha vijana effect za kurara na msana lakini hawaonyeshi effect za masturbation you will never satisfy a woman If you are an addict of masturbation if you are a madara in nature mm-hmm. <laughs> you are killing monkeys <laughs> you will never be satisfied by a man mm-hmm. if you are ready and you must now so ya masturbation basi ameuliza swali nzuri sana ameuliza aje unaweza sikia aje uko kwa marriage and then after sex unasikia partner wako ana masturbate Sia fadhali kukufa. The last thing. Si utasikia vibaya. So wase beste zangu, ladies. Wanaume wenzangu. Let us maintain sexual purity. Kama wewe ni dem, wewe ni vajo. Manze usipatie. We si unakuja kwa bali ni kama ulikuwa kwa panel beating. Unaona gari zenye zina na ndo makileta wega pasta. Wega pio. Agenda ruta wega mbona? Watani arogosha. Si unakuja kwa marriage ni kama wewe ulikuwa gari iko kwa garage. Unaona zile gari zimepata accident. Ehora kuona ifoi. Ku. 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 Kokonyoro. Sasa wewe unakuja kwa marriage ni kama ulikuwa panel beating. Amen. Oko vetu, oko vetu, oko vetu na kijana hapa ameishi ameishikua. Faithful. Uh-huh. Mwimbaji mmoja aliimba akasema Sofina wa vivianga. Mm-hmm. Au kile ukaigua okay, tawago wa demo. Mm-hmm. You are speaking pasi. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah. So pasi 
Unaona story hizi unajua kwa nini tutaangalia hata kwa nini watu wanajikuta kwa habit kama hizo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maana wa sasa hizi wana watch pornography. Kabisa. Sasa hizi nikitaka unaona hata hii simu yangu si mimi pasta. Mm-hmm. Nikitaka watch pornography tukiwa hapa. Mm-hmm. Ninaweza watch. As long as niko na data. Nebora igua. Naweza? Na we? Utakosa aje ku masturbate na kazi yako ni ku watch porn. Lazima ukue purity umeje purity hata ya macho. Hii ndio entrance ya, ya nini? To the soul. Macho. Kila una expose macho yako is so important. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Na ju staki kuwa selfish niko na mapasi wengine hapa. Nataka waseme kitu lakini pasi. Tuambia hawa wase ukweli. Sasa hizi at you are dating. You are dating and you are kissing. Mkienda kwa dating unakuta chali eh anakuwa anataka mkiss. Eh? Anakuramba kila mahali. <laughs> Wewe umekuwa rodpo? Eh? Hata mm-hmm. wengine mpaka umekisiwa huko. When you are dating, you should not give your lips to anybody. Nemoigua. <laughs> Nemoigua. Mm-hmm. You should not involve yourself in those things. Hiyo ndio purity wakati tunasema sexual purity. Basi wase wanaenda date Unakuta wameokoka lakini mkono unaweza tembea kila mahali. Huyo mm-hmm. mzee hata ni vile tu ayuko kwako lakini alianza hapa kwa kichwa kidogo kidogo akaenda kwa lips kidogo kidogo aka, akataka kujua nini imefura hapa. Kidogo kidogo akateremka kidogo kidogo <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Why should you start a fire that you cannot mm-hmm. zima? Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Ndio tulisema hivi nikimaliza nipatie Pastor John na Pastor Kim waseme kitu. Hata kama hatuta discuss kitu kingine, wacha tuongee sexual purity. Mm-hmm. Si ni ukweli? Yes. Mm-hmm. Basi. Nikwa kina mtu ni ni ule mbora atora huyu. Nikwa nasema hivi ukijikuta kwa relationship na mkienda date unakuta pasi. Ulikuwa una serve Mungu, unakuta sasa unaanza kushindwa. Mm-hmm. Unakuta ulikuwa mtu wa madhabahu, siku hizi utaki kusimama kwa madhabahu. Mm-hmm. Yaani hiyo relationship mm-hmm. imeharibu every time you go for a date, unakuja ukiwa na crack. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. Kwa sababu ya zile vitu mtafanya wakati mm-hmm. mmeenda mme dating. Leave that relationship. It's going nowhere. Mm-hmm. If a man respects you, mm-hmm. stay put up. Mm-hmm. Idea nakupenda sana ndio na mtu yanga. Mm-hmm. If a man really respects you when you are dating, afai kuenda beyond mkono. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. Mm-hmm. 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 Praise the Lord. Umaka. Huku huku chini ya ya, ya skati anaenda. Mkono unaenda fire nini huku? Mm-hmm. Praise the Lord. Mm-hmm. Mkono unaingia huku kufanya nini? Kama anakuheshimu na kweli anakuheshimu hata kuguza hata kugoje hata kugoje basi karibu god bless wow hallelujah hata mlipigiwa kofi cha amen amen sauti wacha kwanza uje swali uliza kwanza kabla ya pepe basi question Uh-huh. I use this one. I use this. Yeah. Thank you. I want just to ask a question whereby as per you have said that you want to maintain the purity. Yeah. Uh, and now on my behalf the question I would like just to ask. Me I'm a, I'm a gentleman and I've, uh, I want maybe to marry but at the same time I haven't prepared myself enough for me to get married. But at the same time I'm in a, in a relationship. I want to avoid uh, and there are all kind of masturbation and at the same time i want to maintain my purity mm-hmm. what can i do what can, you what can do? i do okay. the second question uh-huh. the second question is this i know uh, all of us there's a place at one time we had messed we had messed not of us we are maybe five i can say uh, for my question and for somebody it may might help Uh, what can you tell us because maybe I had a relationship with somebody I did you have told us that uh, the way I am or whatever I did I will get the same same partner who will be the way I 
I, I, I used to do. Uh, so, and at the same time, I've realized now, as I've realized my mistake, what I used to do, and now I've conversed, I've conversed for that one, and I want to do a wedding, a wedding, a holy marriage, and a holy wedding. Is it that I still, I will get the same, same person? Let me answer him. Let me answer him. Niseme hivi, Fredi ya mauliza kitupoa sana. Kuna mse, kabla ujajua mungu, ulikuwa bad boy. Hata mina u mse, tulikuwa ma bad boy. Si tulikuwa ma hunters. Praise the Lord. Si ni wale wase, tulikuwa tumejiamini. Nikiona skati nipendeze. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Lakini Freddy, I want to answer you ni kuambie hivi. Mungu huwa anapeana chance ya pili. Si hata mimi nilikuwa na pasi yangu. Lakini niliokoka. The problem is kuna the second virginity mtu anapeangwa na Mungu. Kutoka wakati uliokoka Biblia inasema behold the old is and the new has hiyo spirit wa, wa Kristo wengi wanapenda sana ni ya kujitia nguvu Praise the name of the Lord <laughs> ni ya kujitia nguvu wengi wanatumia kujitia nguvu but i want to tell you this kama Mungu amekupea chance nyingine mbona una una misuse maana uliokoka Mungu akakusamehea past kwa nini unaendelea na hiyo makosa ukiwa bado umeokoka? So, hakuna mtu unaona saa hizi, kuna mtu hata saa hizi alikuwa ananyonga, alikuwa anafanya hizo stories zote, lakini amerun leo na ameamua kuchange, si ndio? Ameamua Mungu ampe purity nyingine. It is not too late to start over again. You can start and you say kuanzia leo Mungu nipe badili. Nani ana, anaomba Mungu ampe another purity? Praise the Lord. So, Freddy, we don't condemn people. We condemn the habits. Unaona? So, kama size uko hapa hivi, it is not too late for you to change. It is not too late. Unaweza sema kuanzia leo kuendelea. Mimi kwa hizo story nimetoa. Umeuliza hata nikujibu swali ya pili nimalize pasta a take over. Umeuliza hivi mtu anawezaje jizuiria wewe ni kijana ma pressure uko nayo kila jioni nilikuwa naambia vijana hapa si tuache kudanganyana. Hii story unasikia anga wasee wanasema ati mimi sirali ni ukweli. Kuna wasee wa rangi. Mimi nilikuwa kwa relationship moja ilifanya ni sirare. Mimi najua hiyo ni story ya ukweli. Wacheni tuachae kusema ni uongo. Kuna vile unaweza penda mtu unakosa kulala. Amen. Amen. Na kuna vile mwili unaweza kusukuma ukose kulala. Weka rwana goko kiama na okanu. Weka rwana goko kiama na okanu. Let me help you with just two points and then I I read. Vijana. When kijana. Watch your diet. Unaona sisi wazee? Sisi si wote ni wazee hivi. Ukiuliza hawa wazee, kuna zile food ziko uh, recommended for men. Hello. Maana zina they are energy giving. Na hiyo energy hawa wazee wanaitaka. Amen. Kama hapa kuna mzee katikati yetu, noeto noe mere diuga ga. Kama kuna mtu alijimisius, amen. Anajua umuhimu wa iyo energy aliharibu. Iyo energy iweke. Utaitumia, utaitaji. Kama utaji kuitwa mzee bure, preserve that energy for now. Praise the Lord. Pasi, uwezi kula mayai tatu na kahawa na kahawa alafu hapa tuchipe miangao kule mianga tatu na chungu karanga na unatafuta ikiwa alafu na kula excess na ufanyangi zoezi hiyo <laughs> energy yote inaenda wapi ndio <laughs> maana unarara na wanjiko unamkimbisha the whole night alafu oroba asante unachika wanjiko kwa dream wakati umemaliza kila kitu ukiamka unakuta umewetu yourself kila mahali ni kama mtu amejikojolea 
Praise the Lord. Amen. Watch your diet. Watch your yeah. And also be a man of prayer and fasting. Sawa sawa. Kitu hiyo ingine kuwa mtu muombaji. Ukikuwa mtu prayerful, there is something passive prayer does. There is something about prayer. When you are a prayerful person, hata Yesu aliwaambia kama mtaki kuingia kwa majaribu kesheni mkio. That is a scripture for you guys. One way to escape those temptation be a prayerful person. There is something about prayers that kill that urge in Jesus name. Yeah. You had the, the last one. The last one. Uh, let me just ask the last question now. This one is somehow how to kidogo. Uh, even before I ask my question, can I ask something? You are in a relationship between uh, the the pastor and your parents who are supposed to know first that you want when you're in the process now you want to start to go and uh, to do a wedding. Who, who are supposed to know first? Who are supposed to know first? Yeah. Your spiritual, spiritual father. My spiritual father. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. And now my question is this. Uh, I, have a, I have a lady that we have, by, we, have, we have just gone through courtship. And now I've told my spiritual father, he has already an, an, uh, I'm a, I'm a already I'm a to approve. Mm-hmm. As once that he has approved us for us to continue with that one, uh, maybe after that you, you just go and see the parents. Okay? Maybe you have now decided to just go to the, to, the, to, to the sister's place. What if you go there and they, her parents, they say no? Or else I go to my parents, they say no, if I'm, I'm getting married to another community. What if my parents, they say no, I love the guy, and already my pastor has already approved me. You know you should respect the parents and then make a decision or something like that. What should I do if the parents, one of our parents have just said no? What should I do? Thank you. Wow, you're in the motor. Ah, Pasi. <laughs> okay. Number one, uh, Mr. Munane. Yes, sir. Keep your kwanza, ni vizuri uelewe. Kwanza, buenda dig deep kwa mzazi. Hamekata kwa sabgadi. Kuzi kuna uweze kano, Watu wengi ukataa kama sasa hizo utaambua usioe mademu wa Moranga kwa sababu gani unakazia una babako na pengine babako wanajua uko sida amemwaga kumwaga na kwa hivyo kuna uwezekano ulete sister yako wapi home so it's good to know why huyo mzee amekwambia ama huyo dadia amekwambia staki hiki kuyu kwanza ni ya kiambu kuna uwezekano alikuwa huku kiambu unaweza kuwa unampenda for example mimi kuna nimeisha hapa na my sister my step sister na mimi nilikuwa nafikiri venye nampenda ni ni ile ile love kumbe nilikuwa nampenda she is my brother sister na mimi sijui wakati dada na tuta huko nyaururu kutu introduce ana ni introduce kwa mtu ambaye amekuwa best yangu so ni venye tu Yesu alikuwa amenishika hivi so kama hako amenishika tungepeleka katoto wapi so it's good ni vizuri kwanza ujue ni kwa nini wazazi wanakataa na ukiona sasa eh, hawana reason because kuna kasi sasa zingine zinaweza shikushika hata kama ni mzazi ameziachilia lakini kwanza ni vizuri ku dig deep ujue ni kwa nini mzazi amekataa Hiyo iko sawa niendelee Haleluya Amen, Amen. tunaongea kuhusu purity yes. Haleluya Ya yeah, nataka kuongelesha kila msee hapa na niwaambia kwamba we are married si ndio we are married na niwaambie kuna kitu ambao inaitwa Ni vizuri tu address kitu ambao wase wengi hawajui na kuna mtu amenikuta na the same issue. Akaniambia mimi pasi wacha nikwambie. Mimi siwezi kubari ku fall wakati niko kwa courtship, siwezi kubari sex. Lakini pasi romance naifanyanga afadhali kuongea ukwe. Hapo tuwauliza unaona hiyo one and a half hour wamejifungia kuna uwezekano one hour and ten minutes inakuanga romance ukweli ama uongo hiyo 20 minutes ndio unasema huku ati hujaifanya sex kwa hivyo ni kumaanisha sex ulifanya kita 
because that act kuchukua hiyo nini kuweka huko ni venye ulikuwa umesetwa kila kitu na ulikuwa tayari kupika so already umesha umesha umekata kata kitungu umekata nyanya kila kitu umebakisha tu ni kuweka nini hiyo na maanisha basi basi unaongea wale wenye wanakuangalia so all I say kwanza nilisikia hiyo demo alikuwa anasema ananiambia anapenda hizo ma deep hizo ma deep kissing hizo na anashikwa mahali anasikia kwa nyumbani eh alafu hiyo mzee atakwambia yeye eh, eh, inaitwaje eh, courtship yake iko sawa hiyo iko sawa we ulioreka kitambo my friend hello <laughs> Najua kuna mtu nimekanyanga. So, my friend. Uwezi uwezi niambia Okay, uwezi niambia wewe unaenda theka. Wewe umeenda theka. Lakini pale mnafikanga mnafikanga unaita wetaidie. Si kutoka wetaidie mpaka nini unaweza enda miguu? Kwa hivyo ina maanisha wewe unawafanya romance na uko kwa courtship. Hiyo na sex nyingine na watu wako inange na unawachekelea. Hiyo na mtu wako inange mnakuanga hivi. Tuko pamoja. Na hiyo sio tafadhali ni kuambia ukweli. Maana ukiona hawa sio wamejifungia kwa room na watu wao for one and a half hour. Most 80% inakuanga romance. So wewe unakuanga already ume, umefanya hiyo mambo 80 Umebakisha 20. Si uko na e, uko na e. Basi umesema wana enda hapa. Yes. Hizi vitu zina vari hizi. Eh? Wewe uko na 80%. Kwa hivyo uko na A. Kwa hivyo si already wa graduate. Yeah? Niongee kwa madem. Madem, mkiona charia na kuja anasema ati kwanza atesti gari. Si mnajua consequences yenu ni moja ya kwanza. Huyo mtoto akikuja mtalia wangapi? Hiyo ni number one. Number two, Wacha ni kuambie. Mimi siwezi na kununua gari imeandikwa petans ama wakeo. Ninajua hizo ni za driving. So, kama unataka gari yako inunuriwe, tunaendaga huko Maridadi na Runda Motors. Lakini kama wewe umekuwa driving school, kila mtu akikuja lazima chogio hiyo unaperekwa. <laughs> Wakati <laughs> Wakati utafika wako my friend Wakati wakati wako ukifika itakuwa ni chogi chogino lakini hakuna mvuu So my friend ladies we are not in looking for wifi ya kwamba inashika kila mtu ambaye yako karibu in a, we want white materials like not wi fi hello kuna password tuko pamoja kuna mtu amekanyanga wasema amen <laughs> so ni vizuri na nikwambie hao machari kama charia madem hata kungojea saa hizi ati anasikia mamioto 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 nikuulize wakati utapata mtoto kama saa hizi kuja mako kwa hanga oh uja mako kwa hanga kwa sababu another day waifa amejifungua nini? So lazima ngoje sheria za daktari. Asisikilize. Oh. <laughs> so kama huyo mtu akukungojea kwa courtship. Hiyo <laughs> courtship. What if upate mtoto through CS? Ugongo mezi sita ama ama, ama, ama saba. Tatu. Tatu. Huyo mm-hmm. msiata ngojea? Huyo <laughs> msiata ngojea? Kama hawezi ngojea courtship uh, uwe married ujue hata huyo hata kungojea wakati wako utakuwa na sure. So msijaribu kujaribu ati hapo unajaribu kutesti gari unatesti gari unatesti gari tena wakati wa courtship niongea kwa huyo mtu alikuwa na kitu kanadoshana hivi Huyo mse courtship inakuanga kuongea ukweli Ni vizuri ni kujue communication Unasikia la gari ni vizuri ni kujue Karo basi una, unasema acha sasa niingilie ni, ni kidogo basi una kuna mahali unaenda na ningetaka ni usindilie kidogo mm. why do you what, guys why why do you date kama wezi what, what what do you do when you go for outings mm-hmm. if you don't talk 
if you don't talk. Basi, mili kwa nambia wa se, wacha hizi story za kushinda, you are hips, you are tips, you are lips, you are back, you are head, you are screen color, you are hyped with screen. Ask real questions. Do you? Do you function? Yes. Yes. Are you normal? Are you functional? Are you a virgin? Yes. If not, what happened? Ask the question. Swali yangu ni eh Na ni vizuri tu kuwa honest na mtu asiogope tuulizane tutoke tumepona Swali yangu ni eh wakati tuna date saa zingine unapata unauliza msichana ama anauliza kijana na unapata anakudanganya So ka kitu kangu haka kanaweza kuwa kadogo na mimi niambie niambie msichana nikakubwa So ni vizuri saa zile mna date de mashike askie Tumepana Okay 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 Are we together Wait tumesema hivi courtship ni kuongea nini na kama mtu atakudanganya kwa courtship ujua atakuwa marriage ata sustain marriage na nini na uongo na niseme hivi sio kusema ya kwamba uko na peace wa uwezi wa mtu atisema ek47 ndio inaweza huwa mtu tuko pamoja tuende kwa hili tuko pamoja tena chakura sio ukubwa wa mwiko ni mpishi mwenye tuko pamoja yeah so unaweza kuwa na pisto na uwe commando na uingie Somalia na uwe mahashaba ama mahashaba so there is no need that you kusema ati utakuza maana hiyo kuguza huyo jamaa unaweza muweka kwa tempte hata wewe mwenyewe hata wewe mwenyewe ukienda to that to that extent hata wewe utakuta umeanguka into tempte temptation sir okay please god let us now come back tuendelee vizuri si ndio si we are going on well yeah yeah basi unaweza ambia basi when you sasa ni basi kwa tunataka to address kidogo alafu naona time yetu iko sawa atuja mess time amen kwa namba dakika kama 10 na kitu kwa kimaliza basi wewe according to you unaweza saidia hapa vijana unaweza waambia nini kuhusu hiyo story maana naona ina make sense kwa watu wengi amen how can you mean that the, the person you are going to marry will not mess your future as a christian na utaki ku cross boundary na utaki kusina against mungu na utaki ku disrespect msichana ama kijana wakati msichana amekuvuza hivyo si si utasikia kuisha hata ameku disrespect si ndio kabisa hiyo 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 on itself that person don't doesn't respect you nimewaambia ukitaka kujua msichana na kuheshimu je kijana na kuheshimu sharia kwa serious anataka kukuoa ataki kukuteki advantage atakugojea hata kuguza ata respect kwanza mwili wako ukiona ameanza fish game unajua that is not huyo ayuko after kukumari a person who really loves you who respects you will wait for you basi mm-hmm. unaweza sema aje okay thanks thanks sir praise god uh, mimi kulingana na mimi me, I want to talk out of uh, experience. Uh-huh. Yes. Go on. It's about to go. <laughs> Your experience is not going to Praise the Lord. I want to talk about it uh, in this way. Mwanaume kuku a lady kukuguza sehemu zako za siri. Eh 
kwa sababu kitu yenye ambao tunataka kusustain hapa as young men is purity between you and God. Tuko pamoja? Yes. Wewe utakatifu wako kati yako wewe na Mungu. Si ndio? Kweli ndoa inakuja na pia utakatifu wako na kujiweka kwako ukiwasawia kati yako wewe na mtu wako. Si ni kweli? Na mimi miaka kama miaka kama Tarikio hiki ni mwendo wa 2011. Tunafanya 2011 December 3rd. 4th. 4th. Ninakumbuka So uh, I did it on 3rd. 4th. 3rd because because tarehe tatu ndio ilikuwa inabadilishwa ipelekwe tarehe ipelekwe the next week the 7th nikakataa. So wakati ambapo hiyo miaka tulikuwa tuna date mimi nilichumbiana tuli, na mtu wangu hapo tu pole pole lakini katika ile hali ya kuchumbiana e, kuna mahali ilifika na tukaona ya kwamba nikaona ni kana kwamba hii mambo tumewekewa sana tuko pamoja na tulipokuwa tunaendelea kuhusu hiyo John anasema tulikuwa tunaongea mambo mengi na muuliza maswali ananiuliza namwambia hivi ananiambia kwa pamoja lakini kuna mahali ilifika na kulikuwa na mtu mmoja na alikuwa anapenda sana huyo msichana na mimi nikakasirika sana na nikataka kuuliza na kujua ni kwa nini anataka nini ule mtu kwa pamoja kwa nini wanakaa nikana kwamba wanafanya nini so nikataka kuchunguza sana na nilipokuwa nachunguza nikajua ya kwamba msichana kuna mahali ambapo ilifika na walikuwa wanafanya mambo walikuwa they were doing romances eh? tuko pamoja walikuwa wana mwiretu ni yahudagia mwanake na mwanake goja mwenye ulikuwa unataka kuoa ndio alikuwa anafanya romance na mtu mwingine yeah i came to realize that so alikuwa na anafanya zile vitu na ule mtu na mimi si kujua na mondoshi yale mudhuri alikuwa mzee alikuwa mzee amsikii kikuyu sawa so nilipojua akataka kujua kiwango cha kiungo changu utajiri 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 eh uzito so katika ile harakati nikataka kufikia kujua na kuelewa ni kwa nini kwa pamoja na kwa hivyo wakati ambapo nilielewa yule msichana mwenye nilikuwa nataka nioe nilipoelewa hiyo siri anataka kujua kiwango cha kiungo changu ndio ajue kama tutapelekana nikafahamu ya kwamba huyu mtu nikimruhusu kwa sasa aelewe kesho yangu ataniona mimi na mwanamke mwingine hata kama hatufanyi ile kitendo tutakapoingia katika ndoa hata niamini tukiwa na mwanamke mwingine katika mahali pasipo tuko pamoja kwa sababu whatever you do in secret with your partner it will come to you na itakukuta tu pale na wakati utamuona utaona pastor Steve akiongea na dada wakiwa mahali wanaongea ya Mungu kwa sababu walibadilika lakini kwa sababu wewe mlifanya na partner wako ule you will never trust that guy the guy will never trust you as a lady because vile mlikuwa mnafanya utafikiria ndivyo wanafanya Wacha tuende pole pole pasta. You know I'm an I'm an evangelist. Pasta is an evangelist. So you you need to excuse. Kanaweza nuka size. Praise the Lord. Hebu pasi ni kuulize. Wewe watani muulize swali hapa niulize pasi. Pasi. Nikuulize wakati ulijua huyo Dem ana 
have romance na mwanaume mwingine and you are in dating mm-hmm. uli discuss na about it ama uli uli assume, uli assume tu ukapata ukaacha tu ipite ukasema uko na yesu ukasema bwana sio acha kwa sababu ya uhusiano acha tu ni okay nifanye okay. sijaona yote utendeka kwa wema <laughs> <laughs> okay nilimuuliza pastor john anamjua <laughs> alikuwa anaitwa wabu in fact john was the pastor uh, pastor wake wabu the one with the gogos eh? Nilimuuliza swali. Your first girlfriend was Wambui. The second, the one you married was Wambui. And the one I have is Wambui. Glory to God. So 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 any Wambui here. This guy has changed. This guy this. This no longer the one that is Wambui. To be kwa sababu ya time ndio maana unaona nikiingilia meeting hapa na pale ndio tu run na tuna run tukienda haraka si ndio yes. pastor when you are dressed that or what happened okay nilimuuliza nikamuuliza ni kwa nini kunaenda hivyo na nilipomuuliza yeye alikaa nikana kwamba anaficha lakini nilikuwa na evidence so wakati nilifuatilia nikaona hatuwezi pelekana mahali i had to cut it off <laughs> na nilipokata nilipokata tulipo nilipokata nikakaa si kukaa sana na gojiri pasta alikuwa amenipea kuongelea side ya red flags eh? so wacha tu niunganishe hii na hiyo hapa wakati ambapo tuli tuliachana na ule si kuchukua muda wangu kurikonsile na mawazo yangu na kukuwa settled nijue ya kwamba sasa ninataka kuingia katika relationship ingine kuhi, kuhi. si kuponya moyo wangu so wakati ambapo niliendelea nili, nili nikapata mwingine oh, na nilipompata nikamchumbia na nikamwambia vile eh, nikampea tu maneno matamu akasikia na akakubali na tukaingia hapo So wakati ambapo nilikuwa nataka tuongee na yeye ule ndio kwamba tuweze kuelewana. E, kuna mahali ilifika. And this one I want to give you as a precaution so that wewe pia uko katika katika relationship na unataka kuweka kukuingia katika ndoa na ndoa yako idumu na isimame. Na usije katika maisha yako uka regret. Nataka uishike vizuri. So tulipoingia katika relationship yule dada alikuwa ni dada mzuri na alikuwa ali, alikuwa anatumikia askofu yule ambaye tulikuwa tunatumika chini yake na kwa hivyo yule dada tulipokuwa tunakaa na yeye tulifika mahali mimi mwenyewe sasa kwa sababu ya kuluzi unajua kuna mahali unafikanga because of desperation being desperate eh Unajipata unafanya vitu zingine sio kwa sababu ni yari yako ni kwa sababu ya ile mambo umeyapitia. So what you need to do in a relationship before you enter in another relationship you better heal so that you can start another one. Are we together? So tulipoingia katika ile relationship na tukaendelea na, 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 na hali ya kujuana na kuelewana yule dada tulikuwa tunaenda tunapatana so kwa sababu alikuwa ameamini wa watoto katika, katika katika kanisa na mimi nilikuwa nimeamini wa mambo kadhaa katika kanisa tulikuwa tunapatana katika ibada hizo uh, ibada na baada ya kumaliza ibada tunaketi chini kuongea na tulipokuwa tunaketi chini kuongea i want to talk this uh, niweke kwa ajili ya trust i want you to get this point of trust in the marriage in a simple way pastor yeah so tulipokuwa tunakaa unapata ya kwamba yule dada kwa sababu ya uhusiano wetu wa karibu mimi na yeye tulikuwa tuna romansiana na wakati mwingine tulikuwa tunafanya kile kitendo cha kulomansiana Pengine hata katika ofisi kwa sababu yeye ameaminiwa katika mate, katika kazi ya ofisi ya mchungaji na mimi niko pale nimeaminiwa katika kazi fulani katika ibada 
Tusikizane, tusikizane, tusikizane. Nataka uele na kufunza kwa sababu unajua inasemekananga ya kwamba tunasoma kupitia nini? Wengine. Wengine. Si ni kweli? Na kwa sababu pengine mimi si kupata wakati kama in fact natukupata wakati kama huu wakati wetu. We never had this time. Hatukuwa tunaelimishwa. Na kama ulikuwa unaelimishwa ni ile mnaenda conference oh, maombi. Maombi mnaomba papa papa. Pa. Na let me tell you prayers without being taught on how to live. Pia unaweza jipata umemesu upande mwingine. Kuna kitu inaitwa spiritual life. Aha. Physical life. Good. To address physical hata ukuwe spiritual namna gani ukuwa na shida. Physical will come after you. Kwa sababu acha nikupe hii. Nilikuwa ninaomba. Nikipewa neno wapendwa ni washuhuda nilikuwa nahubiri. Na jana ilikuwa Jumamosi nilimpa busu mpezi wangu wa ofisi ya school. Pamoja. Pamoja. Kwa hivyo Tunaweza tukawa tumekuaminia ofisi ya mchungaji Pastor Ben. Na hapa katika kuaminiwa kwako kuna mtu mnachumbiana. Na huyo amepewa kazi ya kuosha darasa la vijana. Na wewe umepewa kazi ya kuosha ofisi ya mtumishi. Kwa hivyo baada ya kuosha na yeye kuosha mna Baada <laughs> wewe ni wewe umesema sio mimi. So, ni vizuri tusikizane hapa ni vizuri wakati ambapo unachumbia mpenzi wako ni vizuri kwa sababu unataka kufanya ndoa ambao ni takatifu ni vizuri kukuwa na precaution ya vitu vingine kuruhusu mambo mengine kufanyika mkiwa katika uhusiano kwa sababu gani tulipoana katika ndoa yetu kulikuwa na issue ya kutoaminiana akiniona na mwanamke mwingine anasema ni nini mlikuwa mnafanya kwa ofisi why because we did it together na kweli sikuwa na hiyo kwa sababu nilipooa ni nilimaliza nili, nili hiyo maneno nikasema si tumeoana sasa ni nini nyingine nahitaji niko sawa niko sawa lakini kwa sababu yeye tulikuwa tunafanya na yeye akawa insecure So whenever she sees, she sees me with another lady hata nichelewe katika ibada na mtumishi aniambie sindikiza huyu dada ni miokoka sindikiza huyu dada mamboi wangu wasikia kwamba pastor Kimu amepewa dada fulani asindikize wamekisiana hataelewa ni kweli siko vile lakini hataelewa kwa sababu tulianza kabla ya kuingia katika ndoa so protect yourself Amen amen amen. Wacheni niwaambie, unaona mimi napenda wasi wenye wa Korir na Raif. Basi mimi hata aseni kwa naambia, mimi nilianza ku watch porn nikiwa mdogo sana na nili expose wa na brother yangu. Alikuwa na kama nini? Na ma, ma magazine. That time hata kukuwa na hizi zini nini. Wao wa timu ni wale kwa na magazine. <laughs> Oyo kwa yangu wa praise the lord. It's good to be realistic. Si ni kweli? Ndio watu wasaidii. So basi, unaona huyu pasi hapo anasema ni kweli. Ni kweli alikuwa anachapa neno inachapi? Inachapika. Inachapika. Na hakuna kitu mbaya, hakuna deception mbaya kama you are living a life of sin na Mungu anakutumia. That's true. Hakuna deception kubwa kama hiyo. Praise the lord. Unasikia marriage ya pasi vile hivi na hiyo marriage yenye pasi anasema walikuwa na romance walifanya church wedding na ikaisha Amen Ai kurast it last how long 3 years 3 years na hiyo 3 years are you have sex mara ngapi pasi Kwa marriage eh yeah. six times six times ana kwa 3 
Wewe silent silent tumalizie silent tumalizie hiyo maswali ni ya siku nyingine ile Nitawakumbusha mtaandika mahali Praise God Hebu sikilizeni mimi ndio na run limiti Si mimi ndio na run kwa hivyo nikisema kuna swali hakuna swali swali ile kitu ya maana pasi amesema hapa hivi ukianza hizo fish games u break trust amta white trust yana hata utaki kumtrust hautamtra hautamtrust pasi unasikia miaka tatu 360 mwaka unakuwa na 360 365 and a quarter days plus 365 and a quarter days plus another four time three years there was a time we stayed for six months yeah sleeping together in one bed nothing is happening no question i said no question na wakati huo huko wa covid No. No social distance. <laughs> Praise the Lord. As we are about to finish, let me tell you something. Unaona hizi story tunaongea hapa. Nyi mnaweza fikiria ni jokes. Mnaweza fikiria ati hakuna mtu tuna address hapa. But mimi najua kuna wasee tume address leo. Praise God. Mimi najua kuna wasee walikuwa wana romance kwa dating na kwa courtship na pengine huko ana idea ni vibaya. Simesikia pasi amesema tu kufundishwa. Si sisi tumewafundisha. So wacha ni ni page na ulize pasi swali. We Fred umeuliza sana. Wacha jona ulize mara moja. And then Pastor Steve tukienda kumalizia nataka kupea mtu mmoja hapa kwa you aseme kitu. And then hiyo meeting ingine tutapanga juu ya gidha si ndio yeah. naona time ya kurudi jo sasa imefika ya wasi yeah. pastor wanasema gender equality naona pale hivi kuna nani oh, mlede eh kuna demo hapo hivi ah wacha okay. wacha turudishe tu zote za john na ya plastidis okay okay yeah. wacha tuanze na ya huyu ajaongea karibu sana kama So unafaa kumwacha ama Maybe umekuwa <laughs> Maybe umekuwa mkifanya ha, maybe hamko mnajua kama iko na consequences mbaya hivyo Na sasa umejua So ka umejua unafaa kumwacha ama uniendelea kuwa na Wacha jona uuze tujibu pamoja Swali yangu ni Pastor Kim umesema for six months how uh, could have sex na huyo dem. Swali yangu ni cuz I think ni Pastor Steve alikuwa amesema eh, wakati maybe muna romance na vitu kama hizo wakati tarau huyo dem kukuguza kuna feelings zitaamka. Na sasa hapa mimi na assume uh, I'm dating huyu dem amenikiss na ameenda. Na <laughs> na nime nimeenda home maybe nime masturbate wewe pasta uko hapa na huyu kwa kitanda moja hakuna covid utapata umeekelewa mguu Uli, uliweza aje kukaa for six months bila sex to one bed na najua lazima ulikuwa unaekelewa mkono bahati mbaya <laughs> a very nice question. Wacha pasi ajibu ya John nataka kujibu ya ule dem na Pastor Steve pia ni yeye ataanza ajibu ule dem. Pasi ana namba sana. Ah, Black Black City. Okay, John. You know, kile kitu who happen hapa wakati ambapo kulifanyika ile jambo. Ile kitu sasa ilifanyika ni kwamba tulipokuwa tunaishi vile kwa sababu mimi si unasikia tulikuwa tunafanya kile kitendo tukiwa kanisani kuna zile kuna punishment zingine Mungu anakuchapanga you know everything has everything that you do wrong in the darkness has a consequences lazima utalipia hiyo so wakati ambapo tulikuwa tunaishi na ni baada ya mtoto wetu mtoto wetu wa msichana wangu ina msichana 
baada ya kupata msichana yule ambaye tulipata anaitwa Abigail ngina tulipopata yule msichana baada ya miezi mitatu ile daktari hupeana in fact hata sasa ni kama miezi tisa kwa sababu miezi tatu ya ile daktari hupeana plus six. that is nine months so what happens you know it's good to be to, to, to be genuine eh? what happened tulipokuwa tunaishi na ndio maana ulikuwa unaona ninaangalia pastor Steve akiongea kuhusu masturbation ninaurumia watu people go through things because wakati ambapo ili happen kile kitu kiliingia pale nilijipata nimeingia katika situation ya masturbation are we together kwa sababu mimi ni mwanadamu nina mwili nina nyama lakini tunalala na huyu dada kitanda kimoja ananiguza wakati mwingine ilikuwa ni kama mateso kwa sababu walikuwa analala alafu anasahau ananikumbatia leo jinga leo jinga leo jinga tuko pamoja tuko pamoja so akinikumbatia tukilala asubuhi na unajua aman you react back ama pengine wewe una react wa kwanza na yeye react a respond kwa reaction yako ndio muanze nini romance biashara so wakati ambapo tulikuwa alikuwa anafanya kile kitendo na inakuwa ya kwamba kuna ile eh, mwili wangu unawaka lakini katika ile harakati akiona sasa nimeanza ku respond kwa sababu ya madharao ananigonga oh no hii nimekula sawa sawa. Hii nimekula sawa sawa. Praise Lord. Because of time. Umesikia pasi amekula tu kokora. Praise Lord. Okay, let me say this. Let me say this. Aki juu ya time yetu naona tutakuwa na session nyingine. Next time. Si ndio? So pasi the next time pasi atakuja hapa atatuambia after falling into that addiction how did he come out of that addiction mm-hmm. si ni vizuri yeah. but can i tell you something that i've learned from pastor 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 kim's story manzi what was respect what is what respect each other when you are in a relationship true don't go beyond the boundary If you love that person, wait for that person. Maintain view. Purity. Pastor can I have just one minute? Eh, Kabla tupatie. Uh, yeah, okay, mimi kwa hiyo story ya Pastor Kim. Kuna kitu kimoja alisema na mimi kwangu ningetaka kusaidia mtu. Ni vibaya sana utoke kwa relationship uingie kwa relationship. Praise God. Maana mwenye mtakutana na yeye utakuta ame, ameingia kwa hiyo situation yako sio love so kama huyo mtu amekuhurumia ame huruma kuna wakati zitaisha so that means there is no more love in that house maana huruma imefanya nini imeisha so usiende kwa mtu tuseme uri break na, 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 na msee kwa sababu akakufukuza uko na mtoi alafu kwa sababu huyo mtoi semekana utakuwa mare Unaweza kuwa mare bio mtoto akisoma akimaliza shule si mare jimeisha kwa sababu yule msee aliingilia kwa ile situation yako so amekusaidia so wewe uko mahali pale ukihitaji msaada wewe ni mkimbizi na kwa hivyo it's good first of all heal u heal kwanza ili ujue kile ambacho unatakanga maana unaona umse alitoka kwa relationship akaingia kwa relationship that's why alipoingia hakujua ni nini ambacho anataka na ndiposa ile mambo yote imemfuata kwa sababu alikuwa anajaribu kujituliza hiyo mambo yote amejituliza kwa courtship because hata yeye mwenyewe hakuwa anajua kile ambacho anataka. Amen. Amen. Can you appreciate Pastor John? God bless you. Are you running something? Yes. Are you running? Yes. God bless you guys. God bless you pastors for for that good lecture. I want Pastor Steve to address the last case there.
Udemu ameuliza swali poa sana. Hebu nione kaa tuko kwa mimi. Na msi. Na huko unajua ni vibaya na umejua leo. Unafaa kumdam ama unafaa kufanya nini? Basi according to you. Okay, according to me, uh sitaki kuenda into details sana, but I'll just go straight to the point. Tumesema wa God is a, a, a merciful God. Auku unajua, ba sasa umejua. One thing I would advise you to do first is to repent. Ili utengeneze kwanza ushirika wako na mu, na Mungu. Second thing, communicate with this person. Umwambie ile uamuzi umefanya. Umwambie now from here this is the way forward. This is what I want. Mm-hmm. If this relationship is going somewhere. If that person is willing to sacrifice for the both of you ili mwe, ili mweze ku, ku reach into marriage, that is your person. But if anaona ni kama unamkazia maana wengine watakwambia oh umepata mwingine mzuri wa ku romance na yeye, leave that person. Sure. Because it is about you and your God. And and your future. And your future. So if that person hayuko willing to sacrifice for the both of you ili mfikie into a successful marriage, leave that person. But if that person is willing to sacrifice hata yeye aone mistake yake na aone makosa yake na 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 move from now we are going to sacrifice and live a righteous uh, and and pursue a righteous or a, a, a pure uh, relationship that person is worth keeping. Ikosa wa hiyo. Yes. Wacha nimalize tu mara moja tu kuna kitu nilikuwa nataka kuaddress. Let me tell you guys. Unaona hapa kwenye tuko hivi church. You will think that sisi wote tumeokoka na tumejazwa na roho. But let me tell you mimi ni pasi na nilikuwa na huduma kwa madhabahu nikiwa kijana. Na I want to tell you si watu wote wanakujanga church kwa sababu wako na purpose ya kuja kutafuta Mungu. You see? Hata yeah. mtu unaweza pata ni, ni servant. Okay, not servant as in mtumishi. Yaani ni servant, ana serve ni mtu ana serve kwa Mungu but ako na agenda zingine. I remember tukiwa huko church huko down, if you have noticed Miss Vangi vitu fupi, t-shirts or something. Sijika usha realize hivyo, mimi uva vitu mrefu. Because one day nikiwa huko chini, tukisifu maana kwa sababu kulikuwa na joto, I used to fold my shirt. Nimekumbuka ile, sijika kama ni wewe pasi alipa an example yako kuhusu kuina mkono. Mimi nikifold, I used to zinaitwaje veins, zile veins zinatokea kwa mkono. Na kuonga na veins mingi sana. So nikikua, ni, ni, nikisikia joto na na fold nini? Shirt. I'm telling you a life story ya ukweli. Na ni, ni huku church kuambi kuhusu kwingine. Niki huko down, a lady akani text, akaniambia manze, na unanga vile uko na veins kwa mkono hivi. Na imagine vile machine gun iko. Manze nasikia na ni mse anasav kwa cha. Si mtu tu anakuja kukaa huko tu hivi. Ni mse anasav na ni mse hata So I I had to for the sake of for the sake of my myself na kama huyu alini reach na je ni wangapi walikuwa wananyamaza so i took it as a personal challenge nikasema for now wacha kwanza nivae vitu mrefu then i address the lady nikamwambia if that is your agenda my friend we are, the, we are on the wrong chapter to at you in the same chapter but you see ni finish kwa kusema hivi kuna kitu pasi alisema if you don't address your physical hata spiritual kuna kitu inaweza ikafanya hata huku unaomba unajazwa na roho kama physical yako uta i address i was you kind anywhere so if singe kuwa more, more kama ningekuwa more spiritual nikose ku address hiyo kitu ina physical way si tungeenda kufanya dhambi are we together so chunga sana even the people who are at church si wote wanakuja na agenda moja pursue your your, your, your purity on your own pasi just a minute eh? about a uh ndio uweze kuna ile kitu pasi alikuwa anaongelea kuhusu ya kwamba mkienda courtship ni nini huwa mnaenda kufanya mnaenda kushare communication uku communicate ndio huyo mtu akuelewe akujue na ajue past yako if possible especially kama you have been in a situation of a certain addiction communicate to your partner akujue vizuri na aelewe and i'm t- i'm saying this because nimemwambia kwamba wakati hiyo mambo yote ilifanyika i was addicted in masturbation but when i came and meet my dear wife i communicated 
na nikamwambia i have been through this and this and this because tulipo wachana tuliachana 2013 2014 mwezi wa tano. so kutoka 2013 mwezi wa tano, i came to remarry 28 was it 2019 2019 so 2018, 2018 december hapo hiyo mwisho mwisho wa mwaka so nilipo patana na huyu dada nilicommunicate na yeye nikamwambia and i have been through this and this and this and i thank god because of my wife she has been able to embrace me mpaka hiyo kitu ikatoka kwa nini kwa mawazo because ilikuwa inafika mahali unasikia kwamba you are not you are not okay with with her tuko pamoja so basi sema hiyo unataka hapo waambie hivi hata ukilala na yeye nasikia si uko si uko satisfied so hatujamalizana unaona so tulipokuwa tulikuwa tunafanya hicho kitendo so what she did what she used to do wakati ambapo hiyo kitu ilikuwa ina happen na mimi nilikuwa namwambia and you know yes we have done it but i am ah, ah. still i'm not okay <laughs> you, you, you get the point you get the point wait kidogo i'm not okay so what she used she used to do kile ambacho alikuwa anafanya alikuwa sasa ana ni embrace tuko pamoja hata eh? kama yeye alikuwa ameisha ameisha kabisa anarudi ile hamu sasa tena ina yeye mwenyewe sasa anakubali niko katika hali ambayo siwezi nikafanya nini anakubali then we until it came to pastor nikarudi sawa amen amen hiyo hiyo wewe hiyo 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 sasa ni amkivuka huku tukiingia marriage praise the lord <laughs> Uh, I am about to finish so please please uh, ni saa hizi ni saa 11 na 20 Tumaliza na nusu Haya yeah. makena dakika moja na mimi niko control na, sasa na control meeting Ukiona nimefanya hivyo unakata Makesh yeah. 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 text John daika nusu pasta nusu tumalize jibu makena okay so sex this is the source of everything so anything any information inakuleta hapa ikikuwa affect hapa imekuwa affect mwingi thank you thank you pastor makesh uh, wacha pasina ya kujibu the next nusu minute pasi kwa haraka the moment i started masturbation eh, nilikuwa natafuta dada kanisani Mwenye tunaweza tukaongea. Tuna chat. Tuna chat, tunaongea. Tunaongea, 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 tunaongea. So, pale si tumeongea na yeye. So yeye tukishaongea na yeye, mimi nitaenda kujimalizia. Thank you because can I help pastor? Ame trigger mawazo ya pastor. Ame ya rose. Pastor alikuwa anataka mtu atamua rose in the mind. You can never have sex if you don't have it in your mind. Sex starts in the mind. Kwa hivyo mtu akikupollute mind amekupollute ame amekuingiza ame box. Basi nasikia yes. ni address hiyo kitu in this way. Eh. Do you know uh, uh, sex chatting it is one of the most infuriating things because that is where it, we introduce the topic of sending nudes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mmesikia hiyo? Yes. Because wakati mna chat na mtu hawezi tu ambia mtu tu ati i love you alafu asikia kili menini hapana kama ni whatsapp anakuitisha nude 
Ebu tuma hiyo mzigo nione. Na pisi yo kitu huwa ni That is the worst thing ever If you can avoid that Na hiyo kitu hufanya Si muna romansiana na mtu wako kwa text Mtu mwenye mutakuja kuwawana in future Wakati utamuona akiwa na simu kwa nyumba Unamuongelesha aski Utafikiria tu wako Ni mtu mwingine wanachati na yeye Wanaugia na yeye So it brings insecurity in your marriage Thank you, thank you pastors Thank you, thank you God bless you, Makesh, umejibiwa E, na by the way acha nikwambie watu wengi wako kwa relationship wameshindwa kutoka kwa sababu ya hizo vitu kwa sababu yule mse ujui card direct hizo hizo ma message kwa hivyo it's a threat and I'm threatened to blackmail kwa hivyo hata kama amekukosea unataka ku leave ako na, na, na your picture ukiwa naked so si utakuwa slave kwa hiyo relationship hata hata ku mistreat maana kuna wengine anajua Kenya anafanya ukimtumia Yeye yeah, alikuwa anataka kuku enslave, atakuwa akikutumia kwa sababu wako na information ya ama anatumia madhahinga. Eh, hey. hey, unaogopa madhahinga. So, <laughs> utakuwa slave, atakuwa akikwambia leo kuja slip over. Ukisema hapana anasema hii kitu utatuma. Hii kitu utatumia brada yako. Unatoka mbele. Hii kitu unaenda ka church holiness. Hii kitu utatumia bishop. Wateni nimalize kusema hivi. Pasi, siku moja tulikuwa na kesi hapa ya, ya, ya msichana anaitwa Josephine alikuwa anaitwa Jess Josephine Musyoka Mukeri Josephine I really was my best friend I tell you that really loved God amen Mimi sitawahi kosa there is a way you, you we, we relate with you and if you see me bringing you closer to me ikwangi hivyo bure that girl I was so close to her because her destiny was so great but her beauty inge ingefanya hiyo destiny yake iharibiwe she was really beautiful bwana asifiwe siku moja kuna charia ilikuja hapa hivi akasema rive kwa youth mnakumbuka akasema huyu ni girlfriend yangu miti gikiendelea kama hii tukapea mgeni asalimiane akasema mimi ndio boyfriend ya ya Josephine do you know that thing killed Josephine she cried alijaribu alijaribu kuendelea kukaa kanisa akashindwa na huyo mse alimfuata mpaka kwa kazi walikuwa nakumbuka there is a time walinipigia wakienda police station ikakuwa police case because the guy was smart he was saying it's either i have you or nobody will ever have you jamali kwa na audacity ya kuingia kwa ofisi ya bishop anamwambia huyo deal ni wangu so be very careful be very careful hata ninadi una relate naye hata kama hamna relationship yoyote wachana ama fala umemsalimia leo kesho anataka kuwa entitled be very keen yeah. you can be trapped forever sure. be careful what you are doing sex texting hizo uh, kutumiana picha zako mtu anaweza kukubrackmail na uishi kuwa slave wa hebu imagine mtukaa mimi ningepata kwa situation kama hiyo Alafu kila time nikienda kusema I want to leave this relationship. Demo ananiambia, "Pasi, hiki tu nitatumia hiki tu nitatumia hiki tu nitatumia bishop." Si unaona badala ya kuwa ribu relationship yangu na bishop, namwambia unataka aje kuja slip over. Sawa basi. Si ni kweli? So tafadhali be very careful. Uh, I see I, I have like 3 minutes. I wanted to ask my friend here. Naomi come here. Where is Naomi? Come here Naomi. I wanted her for those two minutes. I wanted her to share about Arisema mwai kuwa kwa relationship ika break. Nataka nilikuwa nataka ashie tu red flags ama anaezaambia aje watu kuhusu relationship and everything. Naomi si wakilisha ready si waambie sisi. Kamia baby girl. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. Okay, kwa nyanya wanijui inaitwa Naomi. Nitasema mwenye nilikuwa na date cause yuko hapa. Alikuwa anaitwa Lucas. No. <laughs> so 
so okay tuli tulianza ku date na orevo ikakuwa a serious relationship in it hadi tulikuwa he was to we were to get married but alikuwa very yani alikuwa zile za any time he wants me lazima like to meet okay hadi alikuwa na gari so ilikuwa zile za any time anataka na kuja hapo home ananikujia tunaenda out so ilikuwa zile za like lazima lazima na ilikuwa tu lazima na lazima niende angepata hadi na phone niambia acha hizo nguo like twende of course ningeziacha naenda kwa bafu alafu tunaenda so and then ilikuwa like okay pia wazazi wangu walikuwa namjua everything so ikafika to a point bishitangu akaniambia najua chali kubeba ufala so niko zile za ni ufala ama ni kunipenda so alikunika so akaendelea ile kuniambia umse huku kuchocha whatever whatever but he was a nice guy alikuwa tu mzuri but alikuwa zile za like anataka tu ni create time na yeye yani nikimwambia si uko available yani ange make sure anataka kujua niko wapi i don't know hata kama sijui man track ama something angekuwa najua angekuwa je na nipigia simu anaambia najua kwenye uko so nakukujia tu hapo na lazima na lazima tuende so ikafika tu time like naona tu ana ni pressure ni nini so ikafika tu a point to break up just because ana ni clear pressure wow praise god ana feel entitled Sindio, na feel so much entitled. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hiyo ni hiyo unaona hiyo kesi yako Naomi ni kesi ya insecurity. Mm-hmm. Ukiona mzee anataka kila wakati anataka uwe mahali huko. Anataka mshinde na yeye. Hiyo ni uh, serious case ya insecurity. Amen. Amen. Na be very careful na mtu mwenye ana feel entitled. Au ndio wase unasikia anga amekupata na mse ameua mtu. Ukiona mse baka ati ati amekuwekea track. There are so many way to track somebody. If today I want to track my wife, kuna mpaka app iko kwa phone. So I will just uh, uh, download the app, ni track namba yake every time nitakuwa nimuuliza. Ni unafanya kiambu? Uko wapi? Ama na mtu app uko wapi? Ananiambia niko home. Oh, home. Si wena So It's, it's, it's not godly ati ninaona kama chain ama naona last bomb kwa chat alafu nataka ku comment kitu alafu nataka ku comment ya kitu si kwa kitu yenye si ati nampenda lakini nataka kumwambia wazo hii namwambia tu kwa chain manje mbembe such things ukiona mwanaume anakuambia hivyo una foul rebuke na njia kubwa sana Sawa. Sawa. Yes. Ni maize na hii basi nilikuwa na mimi na situation. Mimi nili, nilikuwa na demo alikuwa present worship kwa church. Alikuwa amenikufia na mimi sikuwa najua. Ile mtu anakukufia mpaka anajua mahali unaishi na wewe ujui. Alafu anatengeneza ana, ana urafiki na jirani yako. The next the neighbor next door. So one day I remember it was on a Sunday morning bathroom zaije so alikaa kwa huyo jirani alikuwa demu wakati alisikia nimetoka kwenda kuoga she was in the next door she was listening wakati nilitoka bathroom nikaingia sasa nimefunga tawe the the guard knocked at my door kuku amina pia nikevo amenipiti atuende chat Venye tu alino kufungua fasi alikuwa kwa nyumba ndani. Na uko na tawe. Na niko na tawe. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Nilimwambia ah praise the lord. I I knew what she wanted. I read her mind so fast and I had to plan myself. Cuz hebu nikuulize. Kama huyo dem ningejifanya ni, 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 fara hapo nimwambie wewe toka nini? Nini unaingia kwangu hivi nini? apige nduru sema ni alibia jina do you know what i did nilimkaribisha ah karibu sana niko na tawe 
Karibu sana. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have a seat. Let me bring you something to do. Wakati nilijia na hapo kwa kati nilivaa ngona na mashini. Hata siku kwa zile za nani. Nilivaa rogi, nikavaa shati. Alafu sasa baada ya kukuta niko sawa. Nikamwambia Ah, how comes here? Wakati akasema ni saa wakati alitoka kwa nyumba yangu kwa chat nikarudi nikavaa zile nguo na faa kuvaa kwa chat nilimwambia wakati nitakuona kwa nguo <laughs> sasa wakati tulipatana kwa chat nikamwambia kwangu hakuingia kimustana na nikamwambia kama kuna kitu unataka uniambie Saida kaniambia eh Mungu aliniambia wewe ndio bwana yangu na Mungu amenitokea mpaka kwa ndoto wewe ndio bwana yangu nikamwambia huyo Mungu ni wa uongo mwambie aniongeleshe hata mimi na those are one of the those people went even ahead mpaka wakaenda kwa ofisi ya bishop kwa Mungu ni wa uongo be very careful praise the lord amen and one of the last thing that i will say for you to maintain sexual purity kama wewe ni gay usiendae kwa chaji Sawa. Umesikia vile nimesema? Hakuna mtu anatoka nikumaliza na maliza. Usiwe mtu mwingine atatoka sasa. Mimi nikumaliza. Kama wewe ni chai usiendage kwa de. Kwa de. Najua Kenya nasema kama demo anajikaisha na roho, mademu wengi wanajikaisha na roho. Usitembeage huko na yeye ni chai. Amen. 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 Na kama wewe ni chai unajikaisha na roho. Your house usiletange wasicha. Wasta wasta impossible wasta I can tell you the truth before God niko mtana wangu naweza kuambia wale wasta waliingia kwa nyumba yangu na hakuna msichana isipokuwa hiyo dorele praise the name of the Lord iliingia kwa nyumba yangu ikiwa peke yake kama 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 lazima kama lazima utembelee kijana je simchukuane na step na usiende hapo na mtu Unaona huyu atagongwa ni acho kwa shida. Enda na mtu huyu. Praise the name of the Lord. Simtembee kama kama ninyokia nasikia kuwapikia chai. Simuende ama ama mkiwa wasichana watatu. Muende mkunywe chai, nyokia kiwa peke yake atawafanyia nini haku? Kama wewe ni chali na mnataka kwenda kwa de. Simuende mkiwa chali wawili ama watatu kwa sababu ya ushuru. Ushuhuda na Mungu awabariki sana. Thank you so much. God bless you. We are going to to have another session. Si ni vizuri tu kuwa na another session. Tunapasia tuambia how to overcome that thing in Jesus name. Nataka atuwezi. Ileke haya. Praise the Lord. Hatuwezi kuwa na meeting kama hiyo alafu toke tu hivyo. Nataka tuombe dakika mbili. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord.